When you earn your degree online at Arizona State University, you get everything the nation's most innovative university has to offer. The same internationally recognized faculty, the same nationally ranked programs, the same degree. Learn more at asuonline.asu.edu. Hi, I'm Brand, and I love Hallmark Summer Movies. Hey, I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Summer Movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Summer Movies, and this, this is, is the Deck the Hallmark Podcast. Everybody, greetings, top of the morn. Wow, wow, what accent are you going for there? <laughs> all there's, of them. There's quite a mix there. All of them. Mm. I liked there's it. a little all UK, a little Europe, a little Jamaica. A little, a little, bit, of, a little mm. bit of everything. I'm just happy we're back with another summer movie. Aren't you, though? Mm. Guys, today is a big day because you know what came out today? What, On Brand? Tuesday, August 27th? New, what? New, new Breaking Bad movie trailer. The pumpkin spice latte. Yes, Star it Box. did. PSL, PSL, love it, baby. P P S L P P S L. Oh, what's Pete. the thing I was supposed to drink this year? Because the PSL, I'll never have one again. You know they're they're premiering a a new uh, uh pumpkin beverage. It's the pumpkin cold brew. It's their standard cold brew with a little bit of pumpkin. You're a cold flavor. brew fan. I love the cold brew. Mm. Actually, pumpkin uh, cold brew. I would I would be more likely to enjoy. I think. Then a pumpkin I spice? Well, it's I don't probably mind. More subtle. I don't be... mind pumpkin flavored things. Mm -hmm. The pumpkin spice latte was terrible all the way around. It was really sweet and just bad. You want to try this? This is actually uh, yeah. an iced pumpkin spice latte from Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. Is it any good? I like it. I like it a lot. That is really sweet. Can I yeah. try it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to like it. Ah, oh, no. It's also a couple hours old at this point. No. It's in the Yeti, so it oh, stays Oh, my cold. gosh. Okay, guys, don't sleep on <laughs> no, that. Don't okay, sleep on, don't sleep so on Duncan, it. So Duncan, Duncan came out with their pumpkin straight. stuff a week before Starbucks. Yeah, Man. they're playing. They're playing hardball. Duncan ball. is not messing around. The, America you, runs on Duncan. Have oh. you heard the news about Duncan and how America's just been running on it for years? years? They run on Duncan. Without Duncan, you got you, no America. If you go up north and say that you don't like Dunkin' Donuts, people get really upset. They do. That's it's true. I love unreal. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, I don't care about Dunkin' Donuts. The the donuts are bad. The donuts I don't care about. Yeah. I like their the kind of donuts like the are not. Bad. They're fine. Uh, they're not go, as good as Krispy Kreme. You would go out of your way to go to a Dunkin' Donut. No, I would not okay, go out okay. my way. Yeah, yeah. But if they're all along the way and I they're want all, a donut, I don't know if I've ever well, had a bad donut. To be clear, when I say the donuts are not good, that means I'm never going to buy them ever. Like I'm never going to be like, you know what? Going to Dunkin' Donuts. Speaking of fall, you know what I did this weekend? What'd you do? I apple went, picking. I went apple picking. Yeah, you and did. And I went up to the 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 orchard. And you know what I got? What you get? Was, apples? Was the no? Oh, the donuts. The apple. Oh, donuts. Yeah, yeah. the apple cider oh, donut. And they're hot. Oh, yeah. yeah there's Come something. On. There's something special. The key is is that I don't want to wait in that line. I, and so you didn't. You got to go on off time if so you go on off time. This Last is Saturday. about, this is about yeah. as good as it gets. It was yeah. August, and it was like it was up there. It was 66 degrees. So for the thousands no of there. you listening that aren't in a 50 mile radius from us, Sky Top Orchards. Is where you go and pick apples around yeah, here. Yeah. It's actually in North Carolina, but they have homemade uh, apple cider donuts. Oh, apple cider donuts. They're and hot. They are oh, when they are hot, crazy good. Crazy yes, good. They're they're just, ridiculous. When I go up there, the lines usually wrapped around, and I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm but, not. They're not worth it. What's crazy is last year I met a guy who had traveled from Maine down for to, the donuts. For the donuts. No. Wow. True story. He wow. said they. He goes. I. He goes. There's something special. He goes, they we don't need, fish. he goes, uh, we have good donuts in Maine. Sure. I can't testify to that. I've never been there, they're but fine. he yeah. said the ones, uh, the ones here are something special. Yeah. They're good donuts. Yeah. So if you're ever like a in really good guy, sage wisdom. From he, that guy. he was a wise man, Wish I knew mm. his name. So I'm clearly all in on fall already. Yeah. I love fall time. Go. Yeah. I'm ready I can't go. wait for the fall it's movies. It's going to be 90 they're, degrees this week. Oh, it's going to be amazing. You know what's exciting is, um, uh, apparently I, and just me have gotten an invite to join our friends over at the Hallmarkies podcast to talk about the fall um, harvest uh, preview. Oh, I thought it was for the Christmas one. No, no, no. It's the fall move. Fall harvest. And I'm a little hurt they didn't ask me because literally I'm the guy yeah. who loves them it most. It stings that I didn't get that invite. I mean, I'm not surprised, but that doesn't mean it doesn't sting any less. And if you're looking for uh, the Ches Chesapeake Chats, this is Chessies. not the podcast for you, uh, but our friends over the Hallmarks have got you covered. I can't believe what Treat Williams did this week on Chesapeake Oh, Chess. the way he shot oh, that gun. I don't want to even get into it. <laughs> we are talking about summer movies, but before we do, a couple of things really quick. Our Patreon community is blowing up bonkers blowing up and here's the thing 
Uh, <laughs> you said that weird. It's patreon.com slash deck the hallmark. We have 150 patrons. When we get to 175 patrons, we're going to do something real fun. You're not going to want to know. But you're you're gonna, not, you are going to want to know. You are gonna, we're not going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. uh, and if you get in right now, you're going to get a chance to sing Pandolf sing uh, Mariah, Mariah Carey. Uh, oh, uh, we belong together. Ha, yeah. Is it time for me to do that yet? I think it's, yeah, time. No, it's past time. Yeah. We just... And what we decided is instead of letting you hear it, we're just going to get a karaoke screen and let you and go let you it. figure it out. <laughs> that's right. yeah. I think that's the so best. So if you want to that, join Patreon. I've never com. because true story, I've never heard the song. Yeah. I've Googled it or anything. Mm, wow, so it's going to be great. Um, so so stay tuned for that. And also, uh, we are working towards our 2000 by season, season two. two. Please We've got leave so us many review. great reviews recently. We love reading them, even mm. the one star ones. So go ahead and go to the iTunes leave a review. If you don't have an Apple device, that's okay. Just uh, someone close to you probably does so do it for them on their iTunes on is becoming more readily available if you don't have an iPhone it to- is true uh, there are rumors of the Apple podcast app coming to the Android phones but it has not happened yet and so mm. we'll keep you updated if that happens we will. We will. I think it's going to happen next year and a half from next, my insider next source year and a half. so you, your next 18 months is what you're saying next next year and a half it's going okay. I can't I can't tell you where I've heard that from but oh, uh, it's one of my sources from, yeah. that's fair enough so, was it 9 to 5 Mac Dot com. We're again. Can't tell. Um, it Mac. was Mackenzie Book. Mackenzie Book. Haven't you seen those new service commercials? They didn't make them funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie Book is a MacBook who recommends a Surface. Oh, I, get I understand the I commercials. No, but because it's ironic because no, he's it's not. Great. Guys, we're really excited this week to talk about all summer long. Uh, come back on Thursday. We're going to be talking to uh, one of the people that is in that movie and it rhymes with Schmin and <laughs> So come back on Thursday for that. Uh, but until then, it's time to talk about all summer long. All summer long originally aired on August 25th, 2019 and it went a little fourth. What do you mean? It, Saturday. The today's 24th. the 26th that aired the no, 24th. It, today's the 27th, Dan. Today's the 26th, Panda. Not when this episode comes out, Dan. But to, oh, that's we're not, it doesn't matter when it comes out. What well, does? He's we did saying the, Saturday, no, well, August yeah, 24th. But we did this whole bit about Pumpkin Spice coming out today, and technically it doesn't come out until tomorrow. Oh. so we. Can, but I was under the impression we weren't keeping this in. Like, as soon as you messed up the date, you've got to go back and edit this, right? I wasn't planning on it, no. Okay, all right. Then never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the 27th. <laughs> Tuesday. You can't get let people in behind the curtains. This is like the Oz. It's, it's like the Oz. Yeah, people got to think that we woke up really early to record this on Tuesday. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nobody figured it out. Instead, we woke up really early to record this on Monday. We wake up early. <laughs> all you summer, maybe. <laughs> all Summer Long originally aired on August 24th, 2019. and went a little something like this. Uh, Tia works for her dad as a lawyer. But her real passion? Sailing. Jake is a chef who's living on the edge by changing the menu without his boss's permission. And so he quits. He goes to interview for a new job. And not only does he get it, but he can create the menu himself. He gets to decide. And he's very excited about that. Uh, While Tia is walking around, she spots a kid who needs help with a kite. And while she's helping him, she actually does more harm than good because she takes the kite and the kite goes flying towards Jake. It hits Jake in the face as he's walking by. Turns out that they know each other. They used to date and she is not a fan. Tia's aunt and uncle are opening a little cruise line and they need a captain. You know who likes boats? (laughs) Tia! But she needs to convince her dad to let her do this. And after bribing him with Mariner's tickets, he's fine with it. Guess who's going to be the chef on the boat? Jake. And they decide not to tell auntie and uncle about their past. Meet Bennett. He's rich. He owns his own boat. Bennett. And is totally into Tia. And boy, is Jake jealous. Uh, but that doesn't stop her from going out on a taco date with Bennett. The aunt does some investigating and figures out that Tia and Jake used to be a thing, but she promises that it's not going to be a problem. They're supposed to go check out a dinner cruise competition so they can uh, understand what they're doing so they can do it better. But they show up an hour late, and so they end up just getting dinner together on land, and they have a real good time doing it. Uh, But then she goes on a picnic date with Bennett, and he brags about how great of a person he is. But then she goes looking for seashells with Jake. Who's she going to end up with? Mm, I don't know. Could be the Baxter. It's the day of the first cruise, and who's there? 
Bennett. 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 Giving her the eyes. But the boat runs into a problem when the engine fails. How'd this happen? Well, it turns out one of the cruise members doesn't know anything about vintage boats and put on the wrong uh, screws or bolts or something like a moron. But they don't <laughs> fire them. They just keep them on. Lucas. Maybe you'll get better. Uh, it's the day of the Summerfest, and guess who's there? Train! Uh, they're playing some music, and Bennett is dancing with Tia, and Jake steps in, and they end up dancing together to train the band. It happened. So, after the bad first trip, nobody's booking the cruise. Mm. So they decide to ask the Navy if they could have a retirement party on the boat. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, and they do. And Bennett finds out that Tia has a past with Jake. And Jake is like, listen, I, I'm kind of still into her, but whatever. And so he decides, uh, Bennett decides to get out of the way because I guess he's the best person in the world. Uh, so Tia and Jake go out on the water alone to watch the meteor shower. And they chat and they kiss and it's awesome and things are looking great. But once they get back on land, she gets a, a slew of texts from her dad offering her a partnership. What? The next day, Jake goes to bring Tia grilled cheese, an inside out grilled cheese to be exact, <laughs> and overhears her on the phone. And he thinks that she's telling her dad that she's taking the job. And so he storms off. But she's not doing that. She's not taking the job. But that doesn't stop him from being a grumpy jerk. It's cruise day. Everything is going great. Uh, and Tia's dad is there. And he's like, man, I guess this boat's pretty neat. But giving up a partnership? I don't know about that. But he comes to term with it. And it's fine. The crew, um, he comes, uh, uh, the, the crew then uh, lets off a bunch of lanterns into the sky, and people make wishes. I bet I know what Jake and Tia wished for. Uh, well, guess what happens? Everybody leaves, and Tia gets off, uh, uh, back onto the boat, and lets off a lantern of her own, and Jake comes out and apologizes for being a jerk face, and is like, listen, I'm going to do everything that I can to make this work. And she's like, well, you won't have to work too hard because guess what? I'm staying. Mm. And they kiss. And that, my friends, was all, all summer long. long. That's right. We were fishing funny things. Singing sweet home Alabama all, all summer, summer long. long. Uh, wow. Guys, it is great. A couple of new, just a quick corrections. One, they don't ask the Navy. Okay. To I, be on the party. So here's what happened. Can I tell you? <laughs> I didn't think that like, the Admiral, when the Admiral was introduced, I didn't think he was important enough to put in the synopsis. That's so right, when fair. it came to giving the the uh, asking the Admiral if he would do his retirement party. It's a retirement party. party. It's not an official Navy event. No. It's a, I just no. think that that would be the dumbest thing in the world if the Navy was on that boat. And I then, just didn't feel like it was important. Second of all, yeah. train is not at this particular Get together. The they, band train is not. There. They play we a train, and they song. sound exactly like Train. They do not. And Brennan Elliott looks like Train. Uh, I thought Brennan. Pull Elliott, up the side by side. Pull yeah. up the side by side. Pull up Train. Pull up Brennan Elliott. Let's do this right I now. I thought he looked like a buffed up Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> That's what Brennan, I thought he looked like. Brennan looks as looked. Uh, he did. He did a, a bit here where he just didn't shave and he did. He's free, uh, easy he's going. Just, he's easy going. He's okay. caught blanche. So there's train. That no. He's no. kind of similar. Kind of similar in this <laughs> film. He looks like he hasn't had a meal in weeks. That's not the best train picture. <laughs> Show me a train picture train. where he's not on his deathbed. Okay, see. <laughs> kind of a little, like a little bit like Brennan. A little better there. A little bit like Brennan. Here's him right. singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's Brendan okay. Elliott. Yeah. Okay, Brendan does look a little bit like that picture there. We yep. did it. We did it. Great. Um, so you can do that on your own time. I yeah, guess, yeah. If you're listening. Yeah, if you're listening, you're out of luck. Scroll through three pictures. You can pictures. go to our website where we have a game called Is It Train or Is It Brendan Elliott? Yeah. That's right. Um, we'll and the work on the name is still because it's very long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Train over there at deckthehomework.com slash Is It Train or Is It Brendan Elliott the game? Trainer, trainer Bryn. Trainer Brit. Trainer Brit. Um, we have four segments on the show, and we always start off by just telling it how it is. Real deal. We, we tell people what we think about this movie in no uncertain terms. <laughs> and we call this segment <laughs> The Hot, Hot Take. take. Um, and I always start with one person and one person only. The fall-loving, free-spirited, good boy that he is. Panda, Panda. Hey, Hi. buddy. How are you? Man, so happy. Happy uh, last week of August to you. That's happy right. last week of August to you. Guys, we're getting ready to enter the best time of the year, September to uh, <laughs> September to December. 
So September, <laughs> basically Labor Day to so Thanksgiving. A, a, yeah. quarter, a quarter of the year. Yeah. The yeah. Fall. The like rest. One, fall. This is when I blossom yeah. like yeah. a flower. Mm-hmm. It's fall a wonderful to time. the official start of winter is your favorite time of year. No, that no, would be like fall, late December. fall to mid mid winter. Once you hit January, it all goes downhill. Yeah. I love January. I love January. I, I can't birthday? stand it. It's my birthday too, and I don't like it. Wow. My birthday's in August. I don't like it. So you know, yeah, it happens. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Let what me tell you, you. Let me movie? give you the hot hottest take of all time. All right. I really like this movie a lot. Uh love. I love it. I you love, love this movie. All it's also preparing me for the the fall movies, which is long just, sleeves. And oh and my gosh, like I the love movie it. All summer summer long. Long. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, guys, I don't know why. Uh, you know what? Brendan Elliott is such a goofball in this movie, and he's so great, like in the best way possible. There's some ad libs here that don't exactly work, but that's okay because they're funny anyway. Uh, it's endearing. I love Autumn Reeser. Uh, she's got Autumn in her name, which is the best time of year. Uh, I love. I-, I really like this movie. I thought the plot was was really neat because uh, it combines f- sailing the plot and cooking. Was really neat. Put that on the DVD box right there. <laughs> Hey, the 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 oh says, I thought the plot was really neat. <laughs> I did. And then the, you know, the, the ship almost blows up. It's fun. You got Lucas. Lucas is one of my favorite B characters of all time. Of all time. Probably a C character. He's the C minus. <laughs> yeah, no, I love him, man. He's great. I mean, and then you have food. I like guys. This has everything you could mm. want in a Hallmark movie. If this movie was set in the fall time. If it was all autumn long, it's the best movie I've ever seen. Uh, ever seen. Yeah, I thought so. And I'm working through AFI's top 100 right now. Yeah. This is no, top no, no. top 10 of all That's time. Right. It's a great movie. Uh, yeah, I loved it. Uh, a good good bit of loving for me. Um, so you know how I don't... I'm kind of over the cooking movies. Yeah. This one still worked for me because it was less about the cooking. It wasn't a cooking, cooking. It wasn't it wasn't a cooking, cooking movie. movie. No. I was a little bit worried when I found out there was cooking, but it was great. Brennan was a delight in this movie. Autumn was a delight in this movie. Bennett was the worst. Uh, what more could you want? Um, I really, really did enjoy this movie. It was a lot of fun. And it did, it did feel, to me... It did feel more like an autumn movie than a than a summer movie, and yep. I'm okay with that. You could I, tell they had filmed it like when it was just spring was just starting. Yeah. It was cold up in Canada. Like you could tell that they it was were great. trying to make summer work I'm, as I'm, best they could. I, yeah, I'm ready for fall. Clearly, and so um, this movie, it, this is the richest you, person movie we've movie ever that seen. Gave you the fall feels. It's a summer movie that gave me yep. the fall feels, yeah. um, and I'm I'm here for it. Movies it's like about, those waning days of summer that I always mm. love. You get it, Bran. Man, well, what's crazy is I don't know about where you guys are at uh, in the world, um, but we had a really nice weekend here in the in the southeast, here in South Carolina, and it got me so ready for fall. And so I got the pumpkin spice today. I watched this movie, and I was just kind of ready for it. So even though it was a summer movie, it was like an end of summer, like when, yeah. when, when the Lord shines down upon us and gives us a really nice day like he did this weekend. <laughs> um, I, it's just great. You know? <laughs> do, do you know we were summer? drinking pumpkin spice was, lattes all summer long. I was talking to some people about this this week. Summer was so hot this year it, that I began to think that the Lord forgot I, about us. <laughs> and then this weekend was just like, nope, I'm here. Mm, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. That's Good talk, feeling. buddy. <laughs> Dad, what do you think? This movie is terrible. <laughs> like, it is so bad. And that's unfortunate because I do want to take a sidestep and say, here's what I appreciate about Brandon Elliott. He legitimately does character work in all of these movies. Mm -hmm. Like so many of these actors who are great people, they show up, you're getting Candace Cameron Bure. You're getting who you're getting when she shows up. You know, Lacey Chabert, wonderful. You're getting Lacey Chabert. When Brendan Elliott does a movie, it is like he has thought about character and motivation. And it's almost like he doesn't want to do the same thing over and over again. And so, like, he the, the 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 music teacher in a Christmas melody. The detective in Crossword Mysteries, and this are three very different, distinct characters. They're very different. And so he has decided, like square-jawed, serious Brennan Elliott has decided he's going to be the Big Lebowski. Like he is like (laughs) wearing Birkenstocks, yo, whatever's good, I'm just here hanging out. But also he's like a trained French chef, I guess. Um, And so... He tries to imbue this movie with some humor, which, like you said, that not all of it works. But, like, the fact is, he refuses to show up and read lines. My man is going to do some character work. Having said it, the movie around him is terrible. It's a cooking movie without cooking, and it's a sailing movie without sailing. They basically are on land for an hour and 15 minutes of the hour and 25. Mm-hmm. Wow, well, I'm fine um, 
And like, and I don't want to get on any sort of soapbox here, but we have in a female protagonist who I love, Autumn Reeser, a multi, she's, she's a multimillionaire. Like she made her one client $12 million in two years. Autumn Reeser is a multimillionaire, super successful. And she's at the very least she comes from money. That's right. Yeah. But she has on her own struck out independently, even though she works for her dad's firm Yeah. and based on her trade has made millions of dollars. Yeah. And she spends the entire movie complimenting the man on his work ethic and ability to take chances. And I like for the life of me, I'm like, <clears throat> can we just like one of like at the beginning of the movie, one of these dudes is a, is a chef that has a boss and he's just like, oh, I guess I'll toil. And the other one's a super successful lawyer and he's painted out to be this like, you know, has it all. Somehow he's a hardworking guy. Yeah, I will say I found it a little bit weird when she talked about how he's always taking chances because he literally was at a job for, uh, I, I think at the beginning of the movie, he said five years he's been there. Yeah, like, he was um, not doing taking Doing exactly what the boss has told him to do. And sure, he took a chance every once in a while, but it wasn't until he, he tr- found out that there was a job that was perfect for him that he decided he to He strikes me as a guy that still lives in his mom's basement. Okay. Like, but he just knows French cuisine, but he wants to do like a teenage But the Ninja stuff he Turtles does with French like. cuisine, cutting edge. I mean, yeah, sure. And have you heard about the Inside, inside Out, out cheese? Oh, there. I have some things now, to say about we, that. We'll get there. But you called it a reverse grilled cheese. Yeah, I did I, call which it a reverse. I guess wouldn't be grilled at all. And inside out grilled cheese, <laughs> uh, it looks delicious and it did make me hungry. The movie is not as good as the parts around it. And that's unfortunate. But if you're going to have a movie about cooking and sailing, maybe include some cooking and sailing. I'm, I'm just saying, like, that would be a start for me. Bad, 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 bad. But you, wow. had, you had fun. No. You had fun. No. You, you would fun. watch it again. I watch did, it would again. never watch it again. Under no circumstances, this side of someone paying me money, would I ever watch all summer long again? Period. You had fun, though. No. He had fun. He did. I can hear it in your voice. Yeah. You had fun. <laughs> no, I didn't. Summer movies are the worst. You had some fun. I think we all did. Yeah. Uh, it's time for all the feels. Part of the show, we talk about what this movie gave us those uh, those summer feels, the, the feels of, of romance. I mean, I think uh, if you didn't have feels during this scene... Um, I don't know, man. Like, go go see a doc because a doc. it was so good. <laughs> go see Doc Declan. Go Doc Declan. Um, they go out on the boat mm. and uh, under the nice stars. Little boat. And they're they out go there for hours and they watch a meteor shower. And who hasn't wanted to do that? I, I mean, want to now do that right now. Yep. Um, and I don't even like the water. I don't like boats because of the fact that I would die because of drowning <laughs> and lack of swimming. But you still right now. But I would still right now. If I told you we got a boat love, hitched up to the My trailer. love of all things um, uh, astronomical. Nope. Astronomical. Nope. No. Astrological. Astrological. <laughs> <laughs> overshadows my despisal of the water. Despisal. And Stick so uh, because of that, love this scene and I'm in. I'm ready for it. Panda? Guys, them dancing uh, at the train concert. I have a lot oh, of feels. Really, really, really like dancing and the fact that those they two were dancing, dancing together. On beat. It was terrible. That was a bad scene. I got feels. Second that, scene, I got feels on. This is my moment, Dan. You'll you have yours. That neither of them know how to dance. I don't think there was music playing. But there's not even there's not even making a beat in their head. Yeah, but have you seen me dance? It's like me. I don't okay. think I. I You're don't saying think, that Brendan Ellie and Autumn Reeser are as bad a dancers as you are. Probably. Okay, that's interesting. That's a hot. That's a hot take. No, that is a hot take. Back, I would. I was back trying to sail. Gotta get back to check my mail. Hey, 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 hey. Pretty much, you could say anything. It That's works. Right. Uh, and then finally, I, when the engine there blows, she's back it with a cat machine. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pause you there? Yeah, yeah sure. So I, uh, I'm interested in this cat machine. It's a, you're gonna love it. It shreds cats. Oh, oh Dan. No. Okay, we can do it. You want me to do another take? I, You're going to love it. It fluffs cats. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, no, that's yeah. right. That's nice. wonderful. And loving. And that's why she went back to it. Look at that cat <laughs> looking so mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, when the engine explodes. That made me nervous. <laughs> I got nervous for the boat. You got nervous feel. As, no. a, as a small business owner myself, I felt the, I felt the anguish. Wow. 
What do you want me to say? Uh, Give it, me feels. It's a no for me. It's a no feels for me. Can I tell you guys what I thought was going to happen and what I was really hoping would happen? We caps Bennett. Us? I thought it was Bennett that Bennett. Did it. I had, thought Bennett had desires to make his own cruise uh, situation a, a happen. Cruise, that's right. And so he wanted to take this one down before it got started. So he snuck down to the engine room, um, threw a uh, inside out grilled cheese into the uh, engine. <laughs> cheese was everywhere, inside was everywhere. and out. And so, uh, but that's not what happened. It was just Lucas being a dummy. Uh, <laughs> Dan, what do you think? Uh, no feels. It's a no feels for me. It's I, a no feel. I guess. I guess the scene under the stars was as close as it got. Um, but but yeah, it was just a no feel situation for me. I just wearing, didn't have wearing it. long sleeves. That's right. Mm. Brisk. You could feel the brisk. Uh, the the brisk wind. Brisk. No, you on couldn't. your they face were indoors. <laughs> I don't think so, Dan. They did not film that scene outside. Brennan, I, we're gonna ask him, Brennan. I would love. I would love to ask. I him. am gonna ask him. We're all I think we all going to ask. Him. We're gonna well, ask I'm going to the same question three times. Can we try it, we try it in synchronicity? Did you, you film, film inside or outside on the boat? Uh, it's time for Wait What, the part of the show where we talk about what. Your question was just, did you film the scene on the boat? <laughs> no, and I said, there are did you scenes. Film? No, you never said the scene under the stars. You never said it. You just said, did you film the scene on the boat? That is not, that's just, that's. I might have left out the inside or outside yeah. part. I could have sworn I said inside or outside, but I wouldn't put past so, me today. It, no, it, you said, did you film the scene on the boat outside? It's an inside out grilled cheese. It, you didn't uh, say under the stars. Oh yeah, no, I didn't qualify <laughs> under the stars. I see that now. Yeah, no, I made a mistake. That's on me, guys. Yeah. We went over in pre-production. I messed up. Yeah. Show prep is meaningless here. It's, uh, uh, it's time for the wait what part of the show. <laughs> part of the show we're talking about what in this movie made us go, wait, wait what? what? Uh, Panda? Yeah, I got a few. Uh, first of all, Brendan Elliott, when they get the first review of uh, the the disaster cook thing, he said, did the, they talk di- about... Yeah, it wasn't the cook. The disaster... Disaster event. Okay. Words are hard. <laughs> did they talk about the food? And the, she responds, critic couldn't review the food because it was never served. So my question is, why did he ask about the food review? If yeah. it was never served to begin with. I thought, and I also well, thought they, for sure they were bringing out food. They were bringing out food, so they must not just not Maybe have gotten the, the critic the, didn't get the, the food. The critic didn't get the food. That's why he couldn't review it. Yeah. He didn't get the food, but others did. Oh, uh, that would make sense. Okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> second thing is they're on the boat outside under the stars. Yes. And uh, he says, how far offshore are we? And he says that in earnestness while the lights of the shore are literally reflecting in the water. Mm. No, not that far. I am with him on that because sea and I, water in, in general I, is tricky. It's again, a hard nautical. I thought they were filming that indoors, but I, I I did think that it looked like they were further off than that. I didn't think that they looked they were right next to like initially they were pretty close to the shore. Okay. It seemed like and to me. Drifted. And they drifted. Drift. It was a drift situation. It was a long drift. And then finally, Tia works everywhere in her office except at the desk. She yeah, sits yeah, on yeah. the desk, yeah, yeah. looks out the window. Yeah, no. uh, pretty much, you know, just it's it's a weird that thing. That opening shot when they walk in and she's leaning, it looks like it's like a calendar shoot. Just lean up against that desk. Look, 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 and then look. her dad comes in. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry oh. for disrupting you. Lawyers <laughs> are never at desks. So um, at, they, we're talking to Bennett. And Bennett has a boat called the Seahawk. Mm. And um, Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. I love so it. Uh, this has so the Seattle has taken Bennett, quote, almost everywhere there is water. Stupidest line of the movie. So it's, Bennett it's just absurd. means to tell me that he has been literally almost, almost everywhere. everywhere Around the world, where there's where water. there's water, so not just the ocean. He's been in lakes and tributaries. He's been yep. in rivers, streams, ravines, ravines. <laughs> He's and, and the Seahawk <laughs> looks pristine. It, does. He it has been around the entire world. He, in almost every possible place, there's water. If Bathtubs you, out if there. If you have a man-made lake, he has hitched that yacht to a truck. If your backyard has flooding issues, it. I'm yeah. there. The Seahawk has sailed those seas. It was the dump. Like, I couldn't believe it's it. It's almost everywhere there's water. I mean, uh, gracious. I mean, almost, I guess, is relative. Um, and then uh, we get this scene with uh, with uh, with uh, Brennan in the, in the kitchen. He says... How are those mushrooms, Ryan? <laughs> no response from Ryan. And then he, he, t- and then he says, get on those. <laughs> well, before that, he says, he looks at a girl and he goes, hey, 325 for 10. Yeah. First of all, if the oven's not preheated and you're trying to cook food, 
you got you're in bad shape. First of all, second of all, no one responds to him in that right. entire scene. I think he's a ghost, <laughs> or he's seeing things. You like think he, Brennan's a ghost? He talks to so many people, and none of them even look at him. He's like three twenty five for twelve. Hey, how are those mushrooms coming, Ryan? Let's get get them going. I, I like to think that when he said how are those mushrooms, Ryan looked over and just was like. Maybe he's like, <laughs> oh, the mushrooms! mushrooms. I forgot like, yeah. Get on those! <laughs> and he, maybe like he's imagining all these people helping him, but in reality, he's doing it all. Like, in I reality, would love he's that. He's just, just going nuts. That turns he into a multiple, very different like, Do you think he has multiple personalities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wow. Yeah, yeah. And he hallucinates. Yeah, yeah. It's like a beautiful mind situation. Wow. Oh, wow. Mm, Some schizophrenia. Like, wow. Yeah. Not a joke, but it's, boy. I've got multiple personalities. <laughs> Gonna cook with Ryan and the hat girl. <laughs> they didn't give her a name. They didn't give her a name. They really didn't. <laughs> you got any more? That's yeah. it, man. Um, so early in the movie, uh, it's actually the meat cute uh, with it where he gets hit with a kite. It's a meat cute, and they're they're talking back and forth, and it's very awkward. And she's upset, and they clearly their relationship ended poorly. She he goes, "Wow, is this how you react when you see people from the past?" Weird. All right. And if, if that was it, then it would be like, all right, that's a terrible line. And she responds, just the ones that broke my heart, and you hold the record for that. I don't. I, what? <laughs> you hold the record for the brokenest, the brokenest of all brokenest hearts or number of times? Is there, how does there a, a metric for that aside from right. heartbroken? What, check what, yes or no. What record is he breaking? I don't, it doesn't make Probably the worst. I, I interpret it as the worst heartbreak she's ever encountered. Yeah. Is but that a record though? That's not a record. Well, it is. I mean, you if broke you, the, you record the record for the worst breakup? No, worse. It, the record in her personal life. It's but a PR. Says, it's a personal record. She it's says, a, this is how I react to the people I meet from the past that just the ones that broke my heart, and you hold the record for that. So there were multiple. Yeah, multiple but heartbreaks. Holds but the record, he holds the record for, for the most worst broken. Okay, there well, was that time. It was Timmy back in eleventh grade, <laughs> okay. and it well, did let not me ask go you well. This. What if it's not just uh, he holds the record for her heart, but what if it's just hearts in general? So he, he is has, broken. He's just a heartbreaker. He's a heartbreaker. So just go, guys that break hearts. Mm. And you hold the record, so he breaks. But that hearts. means she would have to have an insider's knowledge on how many hearts he's broken. I think. Yeah. You think she's talking? I think. So. I well, I think there's just. Wow. I think we all have a book on us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's got multiple personalities, and he broke up. He broke her heart with all of them. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> you brought it back around. Yeah. He broke up with her all summer long. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> all right. I wish um, I, the one thing I do wish is that that kid rock song was actually a train song. Cause then it would all be yeah. connected. <laughs> yeah, I really random yeah. Kid rock here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Um, the boat sucks. I think that goes without saying <laughs> two civilians, uh, salute an admiral in the movie, like full dress, bl- dress, you know, Navy admirable civilians right here. No, never, ever, ever. Don't There's a lot why. of salutes in this movie. Oh, I salute everyone. How in the world, uh, like it's a dinner cruise, right? They're never gone overnight. They go out, they eat the dinner, they come back. I believe that is okay. accurate. Yeah. Why does she have a room on the boat? Why, okay. why is she staying That's in the boat? not great. No, well, no, I no guess. because I don't think she wanted to rent a hotel. She flew down. She wants to stay on the she boat. She lives there now. She lives She's on there the boat. She lives for the summer. She lives yeah. on the boat. But she, wait a minute. She lives on the boat she for the lives summer. On the boat. She lives on the boat for yes. the summer. Even though that they're not going to be out on. She right, just, correct. She loves there. the boat. It's a boathouse for her. It's yeah, a boathouse. Boat okay, she lives where she works. She, right. Even though it's not out at sea. No, but right. she loves the okay. boat. She loves and the I, boat, think, so I think they clarified that. She loves being on the boat. Fair enough. Fair I had enough. to think about it, but no, um, I, I feel good about two it. Two other scenes that were just la- like laughable. One, they all get some good news, or they booked, sold out, and they're all sitting there. Four of them. It's Uncle, you know, Roland and Aunt Julie and Tia and Jake. Tamara. And, you know, Santa, yep. Santa, and they're all sitting there, and they high-five across, and then... Brennan Elliott had to be a, an ad lib. He just decides he pauses. He high fives everybody, and it's awesome. He's yep. like all around. Let's go up top and it's across fantastic. the table. <laughs> it's so great. I just can't believe that that wasn't you know that that's why all the feels. I uh, put that in the all the feels segment. And then do you want me to take like take it on post and put it in there? Yeah, I would love for you to do that. Um, <laughs> lastly, <laughs> the, on the at the Navy retirement party, not sanctioned by the Navy. 
to end the night, they're going to to release all of these wish lanterns mm-hmm. uh, out, and it's supposed to look really beautiful. And so they're like, "Are we ready?" And Which they are look just up. not. They're not yeah. safe. No, they're not good for the environment. There are four. Pe- there are four workers on the boat, and they're all standing shoulder to shoulder, holding aim flames, and they turn around, bend down, and then like thirty w- wish lanterns are up in the air immediately. And I didn't, for the life of me, understand how that worked. Do you want to know why the wish lanterns are bad? Yeah. Where are they doing it? The ocean? Seattle. They're doing it over the water, right? Yeah. yeah. Where are those guys, boys going to land? Maybe there's a biodegradable material. You think so? In the wish lanterns. So they you, have to be. I thought you were saying this with definitive like insider knowledge that you knew that these were bad for the environment. I, I mean, I can't think of a, how they would be good for the environment. I think they're just paper that like eventually like just burns up, right? I, if it's paper, that's not good for the ocean. If it's biodegradable material that looks like paper, then I think I'm back on board. If we can get some guys, this is going to be our new podcast, hard hitting expose. That's right. We do we do we do investigative journaling on things you just don't care about. (laughs) So I went down (laughs) to the Wish Lantern factory, and boy, did I find some brouhaha! (laughs) Well, it's not great, I guess. (laughs) Got him! I found six pelicans stuck in a Wish Lantern. One of them told me off the record <laughs> that he wished he could be set free. Wait, so now I'm just a... <laughs> he told me that on the record, and I went and I went and reported it? He said it off the record. The and Pelican. I reported yeah, it. That's right. I'm the worst reporter. The Pelican had a cigarette problem. He didn't know it. Uh, he was just like... It's time for what the hallmark, the part of the show where we uh, wonder what could have been. We ponder what maybe happened. That would give some clarity to the questions we have. I mean, I think the one that we're all wondering is, I mean, can we all say it? Yeah. The inside out. The inside out. (laughs) Yeah. Grilled cheese. cheese. Yeah. What is the deal with that thing? (laughs) Yeah. What makes it inside out? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> because there's, there's cheese, cheese on the inside. inside. So, so it, it looks, looks like, like a standard grilled cheese to me. Is it just me. that there's cheese on the outside, too? Oh. I had questions. Because I started to do that, actually. When inside I'm, out, it would be bread, middle, cheese on the outside. But there's clearly cheese on the inside yeah. of that. It's a double cheese. Yes. It's a double grilled a cheese. Double, yeah. It, it is unfair to call it an inside it out. It is not. Um, unless the outside of the bread is uh, on the inside. So you grill it. And then you kind of... <laughs> the bread is the same on both sides. No. no, no, no. You grill it, and then you just kind of... You take it from the inside. You ready? Right. Yeah. You rip it apart. Yeah. So the but, burnt part... But how's their, how's their cheese on the burnt part? You do it again. You, <laughs> <laughs> she, Panda, uh, I think you're looking for cheese. Yeah. yeah. I, I have a question about the bike coffee. They go to this coffee place a lot. Right. Coffee, coffee Co- bike. Coffee, coffee bike. Coffee yeah. bike. I, I just want to know more about it. Uh, who came up with the idea <laughs> where you uh, have a bike and then you want to serve coffee? And it's a coffee stand on it, but it never moves. Never moves. It And it feels like it should be more mobile, but it's not. not. I just, I want to know about and the business idea. That, there's a donut stand, and I don't know how they're doing any business three feet away from water. Like, literally, mm. they have a conversation, turn around, water. <laughs> like, where are you frying the donuts? I've got all kinds of questions. I, I have questions. And then also but there's talk- never a good time for, never a bad yeah. time for donuts. I just want to know, I've, I, there's a lot of r- restaurants in this area that basically the name is the food, Taco Shack. Yeah, I, I did want to know bike. how Taco Shack's doing as a restaurant yeah. with yeah. such a nondescript yeah. name for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have only one. Uh, it is, what information does Lucas have on Roland that allows him to keep his job? Because... It is my theory that Lucas has some sort of information yeah. on Uncle Roland. Can I like, tell you what it is? I would love for you to tell me what so, it is because you, there's no other way he keeps his job. You know how Roland hurts his leg, right? Yeah, he, he, he says yeah. that it was a box oh. situation. I believe that, and I don't want to say this, but I believe Lucas and Roland were out on the town. Ooh, they were clubbing. Oh no! And uh, and something happened. Like he 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 was dancing. He was dancing with another girl. Oh my goodness! You and, think Roland's having an affair? Well, I wouldn't, on go that far. I wouldn't go that far, but I think he's on, uh, he's close. on the outs. He's on the outs. Oh, wow. Boy. Yeah. I think Lucas has some info. That's the only way he keeps his job after yeah. being a doofus. Yeah. I think he's I like, feel man, bad if, for you, Lucas. If, you, if you fire me, I'm going to tell you what really happened. Lucas is kind of a meathead. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> for being an engineer, too, that's disconcerting. Nah. What do you got, Dan? I think we did it. We did it? That's it? I think we did it. Guys. I love I think, it. Wow. All guys, summer long. Guys. 
<laughs> Do you hear it? Yeah. Can you feel it? Yep. Do you see it? Nope. Here we go. All right. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, and we do, uh, of course, want to remind you uh, to to uh, listen this Thursday. Our interview with Brennan Elliott will be out. Uh, sign up for the Patreon. We're putting out um, a lot of bonus content, including podcasts that might or might not uh, end up being created for the public. So you can listen to those preview episodes. Um, and, of course, uh, leave us a review and follow us on the, on socials, the socials. At Hallmark Podcast. podcast. If you want to get in with the uh, with the, the, the mail episode that we're going to be doing in September, you can send us some mail to uh, Deck the Hallmark. P.O. Box 6603, Greenville, South Carolina, 29606. And, of course, the patron of the week. What do we got? This week's patron is Jen Falls. Oh. Jen Falls. Jen Falls. I love Falls. Mm. So, yeah, this is actually pretty fascinating. It's something. So I'll say that. Uh, we got a letter in the mail from uh, Cody Cody Shark. And it was filled with crickets. It was filled yep. with crickets. And we were like, this is really weird. But then... <laughs> <laughs> but then behind the crickets was a letter. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Not explaining where the crickets and why no, the crickets. No, but it was. I think it's like it's calling Cody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, I got cricket. Cody yeah. Shark's a weird. Cody dude. Shark's a weird yeah. dude. You think he would send something shark related? But no, yeah. no, no, no. no, no. Uh, yeah. And he sends this letter explaining how uh, the Falls family actually created Fall. What? what? I know. No. So if you trace the Fall family back far enough. You will find out that it was October right. of uh, 1742. Yeah, and they they uh, were like, man, it's a little bit uh, chilly out here. The leaves are changing. I could fall yeah. for this I weather. I could fall for this oh. weather. And that is how we got fall. Yep. Wow. I'm sorry, Jen. Yeah. You still paid us money. And that's Amanda, the good what story you got? <laughs> uh, Jen falls falls. Uh, no, 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 you go, no, no, I'm, no, you, you guys, no, you go the there, it's on the, it's in Merry the Southwest, Christmas. it's a great fall. When you've watched a tiny kitten grow into a healthy senior cat, you remember why you chose Cat Chow. Because it's backed by 60 years of expertise. Cat Chow makes yummy formulas for cats of all ages, which makes me one happy cat mom.